gone too soon. The town of Bel Air is trying to come to grips with the loss of a 17-year-old student after his sudden death. The teen was a football player at Patterson Mill High School and was honored in a special way tonight. WJZ is live and Rick Ritter has the emotional tribute at the school's varsity game. Rick? Denise, it was an emotional night to say the least where two football teams put everything to the side for one play to give Isaac Farr one more moment under the lights. It's the easiest penalty Patterson Mill High School football will ever take. A reminder of just how fragile life can be. He's my brother, so I love him and I miss him. It's been a whirlwind of emotions for the entire town of Bel Air. On Sunday, 17-year-old Isaac Farr, a junior football player at Patterson Mill High School, dies after suffering a seizure. His family and teammates left stunned. The first thing that went through my mind was, you're kidding, you know. It's got to be some kind of joke. On Thursday night, the team took the field against Rising Sun with heavy hearts and number 57 decals on their helmets. For the first play of the game, Patterson Mill sent only 10 players onto the field, leaving Isaac's spot on their offensive line empty. And not a dry eye on the field. He was a team player. He had a big heart, and he gave it all that he had. Isaac's family says he loved more than just football. He also had a strong passion for policing. His dad is a sergeant with the Bel Air Police Department and a 17 year old was also involved. The amount of emotion was just overwhelming I, disbelief. Officer Rick Krause watched Isaac grow in the department's youth explorer program. He's a gentle giant, sweet kid, great spirit, cared about everybody. A teammate that will never be forgotten and a legacy that will only grow stronger. At the start of the game, the scoreboard read 57 to 57 to honor Isaac. Patterson Mill went on to win the game. Back to you. All right, thank you, Rick. Now, if you are interested in donating to the family, they have a GoFundMe page in honor of Isaac. Log on to our website, cbsbaltimore.com, and look for this story on the homepage.